Aloha, it's Kim Jilling with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Virgos for the month of December 2017. So we are going to use our theme of the month as we have been doing. We're also going to be um, getting some additional guidance related to just whatever they want to bring forth, right? And then we will be focusing on health this month. So this could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health, any of those things or all of those things may come into play in that particular part of the reading. And then lastly, I'll be giving you some quick feng shui tips related to bells. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got the nine of water coming in. The water cards are all about the depth of emotion. And this nine of water is a beautiful card. I love the nines anyway, because nine in feng shui is about reaching new heights. So it's the last number before they repeat again. It's really a lucky, auspicious number in feng shui. And so for you, Virgos, this nine of water is awesome because it's about your wishes coming true. And this is really, I love this because it's come up like in, I don't know, maybe this might be even the fourth reading that it's come up this month. So lots of wishes coming true right now. There's a lot of manifesting that's happening very, very quickly. So if you are keeping your thoughts positive, you are going to be on a, a manifesting train. You're going to be able to draw those things into you so easily and so effortlessly. So really it is about a love of life, about concerns fading away. And it's like a beautiful card for you. In fact, it's probably one of the best ones that you can get, right? As a theme for the month, especially December. Love that. Okay, let's see what else we've got going for you. And remember, you guys, you know, if you want more guidance, I do offer private readings. So anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours I offer. And if you haven't had a private reading with me before or have not ever used the coupon code, I do have a coupon code that's ANGEL20 and that will save you 20% on any one of my readings. And there's always going to be links below in order in, for you to schedule if you're interested in that. All right, we've got Seven of Earth coming in for you. The Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to know to do to be here on Earth, right? And this is about just letting you know you've planted the seeds. Like, quit freaking out. You've planted the seeds. You've told the universe what you want. It's growing. Like, be patient. And I have to remind myself of this oftentimes, too, because, you know, in the situation that I'm in currently, I'm looking for a new place to live. And I've definitely planted the seeds. I've told the universe what I want. You know, I've made specifications. I want it to be safe and secure. I want it to be light and bright. I want to have plenty of space. You know, I, I want to be close to the beach, right? Like, these are, these are things that I've put out there to the universe. So you planted the seeds. There's a temporary pause in action. Temporary right? It's okay. It's going to be fine. So don't worry. There's nothing for you to worry about, okay? And I'm getting that confirmation for myself too, which is beautiful. I love this because every reading that I do for all of you also has messages for me within it, and I'm, I'm taking stock of that, right? So we've got Archangel Raguel coming in with the Justice card for you. And this Justice card, the energy about this is really about balance. It's about fairness, fair and just decisions. So if you are in, in the midst of any sort of court proceedings, anything like that, um, you know, this is about having fair and just decisions. It's also about doing what you believe and standing up for your beliefs, right? Standing up for what you know is right and true. And also, you know, if you are involved in any sort of lit litigation, please let me know because um, I do have a really, really powerful feng shui adjustment for litigation. It's actually called the litigation adjustment and I've seen it work very, very well. It usually helps things resolve much more quickly and those decisions coming in in your favor. So it's a beautiful thing that you can do energetically. All right, and then we've got the five of air coming up. So five of air, I always feel like this is our spilt milk card. Five of air is um, similar to spilt milk. It's about an unwise choice. So really, again, it's about like, learn what you can from the situation and move on, right? It's, you can review people's motives. You can see where people were coming from in the situation as you look back on it, but really it's just learning. There's no, you, you can't really get life wrong. It's just all learning. So that is the message for you around that. Let's see what we have for you related to your health aspects this month. All right. We've got do more research. 
so you've got to do a little bit more research related to health. Now this can be, remember, this can be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health, any of those things. So you need to do a little bit more research. And what I typically do around anything is just follow the guidance, right? Follow the breadcrumbs. You're being led, you're being guided to the, the practitioner, the people that you're meant to work with related to your health. So follow, follow the guidance. You know, maybe you'll be guided to read some sort of article on the internet. Maybe you'll be guided to somebody's post on Facebook. Follow the breadcrumbs is what I always see around that. And then we've got the sunlight card. So for those of you that are cuspers, that are Leo Virgo, you will have seen this card already. Um, this sunlight card is really letting you know that it's so, so important for you to get sunlight. Um, so no matter where you live in the world, you've got to do what you can to get the sunlight or you're going to be taking vitamin D, right? That's going to be the other option. I used to do that when I was in Minnesota. I used to have to take vitamin D every winter because we just didn't get enough sunlight. Here in Hawaii, I don't have to worry about that. I get plenty of sunlight. Um, we also change positions. So I feel like, again, it's like um, do 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 do. It's deja vu because this came up also for our Leos. And for Virgos, it is about, you know, really taking a look at um, who you're being led to work with as it relates to your health. So don't just like willy-nilly choose somebody, like where are you being guided? What feels right and true? I had a friend that's getting some dental work done and she really was feeling into who was the dentist that was best for her. And that's what they're wanting you to do as well. So that's what I've got for you for your general reading, Virgos. Uh, stay tuned for the next video that's going to give you quick feng shui tips related to bells. Aloha, it's Kim Jolin with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your quick feng shui tip for this month. And this month we're going to be talking about bells. So I have a little bell here with me, and bells are really great energy. We use them in feng shui for a number of different things. One of the things that they do, of course, is represent movement because they do move, they make noise and they make movement, right? And then the other thing that they have is sort of this calling or attraction energy to them. And so we can use bells in a number of different ways in feng shui. Today I'm going to give you just one quick tip on how you can use bells to attract energy to you. So what we are going to share with you today is about using bells at your front door. You'll see this oftentimes in restaurants where they might have a little bell over the doorway, particularly in Chinese restaurants, right? They have a little bell over the doorway and it's that attraction energy. And so you also can, and especially at this time of year in the holiday season, it's always fun to have a bell on your door in the season. So you can use a brass bell like this. I'm getting that out of the camera. Sorry about that. You can use a brass bell like this or you can use any other type of bell. And hanging that on your front door will attract more energy to you. It will attract more opportunities and potentially more abundance along with those opportunities. So that's my quick feng shui tip for this month. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm spreading the love for the holiday season. I have a super special for my angel reading gift certificates for the holidays so this will be good between now and December 26th. I'm actually going to give you to the day after Christmas to take advantage of this special. And the coupon code is going to be LOVE. I wore the LOVE shirt so that you could easily remember that is going to be the coupon code. I'll put the link below. And again, you can purchase gift certificates for yourself or other people. They are good for 30 or 60 minute sessions with me. And you can, I'm not putting any limit on the number that you can purchase of them. So you can feel free to stock up, right, for yourself or for other people in your life. And it really does make a great gift to be able to give someone guidance for the holidays and that sense of calm and reassurance and that connection with their angels and guides. If they have loved ones that have transitioned, this is a great time of year to offer a gift certificate to them for connecting with their loved ones, right? Because we all love to feel that connection with our loved ones over the holidays and it's a beautiful gift to be able to give. So that is my angel reading special for gift certificates. And then I'm also offering a really fast shift 
for feng shui and this is my fast floor plan analysis and it is typically 197 i'm offering it for 147 through the end of december so this one will actually go through the end of the month and you can schedule the appointment out further so it's it's flexible in that any time that you book it in the month of December is fine, then you can actually schedule the appointment out into the new year because I know the holidays are a little bit crazy. So if you're interested in really learning what your Bagua looks like on your home, learning the things that you can do to shift the energy in your space, this is a really quick consult to be able to do that. So it's not my, my higher level one that I did before, but it is a uh, quicker consult for the feng shui and for people that are just like curious maybe they don't you know aren't ready to invest in a full consultation this is perfect and it also makes a wonderful gift as well so if you have any interest in that we have the the links below and i look forward to working with you whether it be an angel reading feng shui or coaching i love 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 to be of service oh forgot to tell you the code for the feng shui is fast F-A-S-T. And again, that the links are below. The code for the angel reading certificates is love. And the code for the fast feng shui floor plan analysis is fast. So I'm making them very simple words for you to remember. I hope that this holiday season brings you so much joy and love and light and peace. And that you move into this new year with a sense of purpose and a sense of knowing what your journey is, what your path is, and what you're meant to be doing. Love you so much.